more light relief from the wall while we take a look at top-line table tennis. Referees and audience have to be in good condition. The finalist in this Battle of the Giants has completely wrecked one spectator. For two whole days, these American experiments have been biffing that ball backwards and forwards. My dad and a friend of his made a table tennis table. It was actually cork, very, very sturdy legs, and that thing lasted for many years, so I started playing with my dad when I was about seven. I just found it fun to hit, hit a ball with, a, with a, any kind of racket or paddle or anything. After about the age of 18 or 19, I stopped playing. Uh, life got in the way, as you say, you know. So uh, basically, I played rarely for about 45 years. <laughs> and uh, picked it up again about uh, eight or nine years ago. And the reason is, it was all that was left after my, my knees began to deteriorate. Uh, I was a tennis player. I had to give that up. I was a jogger. I had to give that up, too. So all that was left was my childhood game of table tennis. A new level in the fight to stop COVID-19 as Governor Abbott orders Texans to stay home. Now I know this is a great sacrifice, but we must respond to this challenge with strength and with resolve. exercises I do with the idea of improving my table tennis. I generally do uh, three sets of 10 to 12 reps and I try to do them uh, two days out of every three. Generally I do this exercise and others at the gym but it's closed, of course. My coach, Bottom, he and I are going to start, restart lessons here in my garage with my table. So it doesn't matter that I can't go to the, to the table tennis club. So I'm trying to concentrate on the basic strokes and just keep them tuned up. And then uh, when he and I start up again together, uh, go back to the way we were. Get better, recovering full conditioning that I had uh, as, as 